Every community has a favorite restaurant, a spot that has become sort of a landmark in the area, right? Well, if we head to Western North Carolina, we're going to find a very special restaurant. All right, so we have Burke County right there, of course, right? Avery County is just above it. And McDowell County is right over here to the left. Now in this little corner where the three counties meet, you will find a very special restaurant serving up home cooked meals and plenty of memories. QC Mornings Brian Stevenson has a look inside. At the intersection of Highway 221 and 183, you'll find famous Louise's Rock House Restaurant. Once inside, you can choose if you'd like to dine in Burke, Avery, or McDowell County. We pay taxes in all three counties. It does not add up to more than 100%. It's a little bit here, a little bit there, and a little bit over yonder. Having a restaurant in three counties can get confusing. I'm standing in Burke. You are standing in Avery. But then if I fall back and stumble over a little bit, then I'm in McDowell. And if you stand in front of the fireplace? If you stand at that star and you have a a lot of junk in your trunk, then you can be in all three counties. They weren't concerned about being in all three counties at once when the house was built in 1936. But building the house on the county lines was intentional. There was three moonshiners who always sat and drank, and they sat right on the county line. And when one revenue would come from one county, they would just move over to the other county. Well, they got tired of being rained on, so they decided they would build a building. All of this for moonshine. And I'm sure you're asking, why didn't the revenuers just show up all at once? They did. There's doors everywhere in here, and there's also one upstairs with windows that go out onto the roof and down the back. Over the years, the house has been many things. It was a gas station and, more close to its roots, a bar, where Jack Wiseman came with his grandfather as a little boy. They had a dance floor upstairs and a, had a little fee. You had to pay a little fee to go up there. And the drink was moonshine. And then right about that time, they got beer. Today, it's a more family-friendly business. In fact, it's all about family. 42 years ago, Shirley and her mom Louise turned the Rock House into a restaurant that any revenuer or community member would be proud of. It's friendly, it's homey, it's what you think you're going to get for home, you know, home cooking. Friendly and um, just home, home family and friends and home cooking. In addition to their great home cooking, they're also known for their jams, jellies, and pie. The most famous pie that we have and sell the most of is our strawberry rhubarb pie. That strawberry rhubarb recipe and the great food are all things Shirley learned from her mom. My mom is an awesome lady. She is a wonderful cook, very famous for her food. Um, she's 86 years old and She's diagnosed with dementia and Alzheimer's. It has been tough for Shirley to press on without her mom by her side every day. But one thing keeps her going. I think I enjoy the people because they've become family. Because they're my mom away from my mom. No doubt, Shirley is making a difference to everyone who steps inside. No matter what county they sit in, in Avery County. I mean, Burt, I mean, at Famous Louise's Rock House Restaurant, I'm Brian Stevenson for QC Morning. Mm.